Time takes a cigarette, puts it in your mouth, pulls on a finger, another finger, cigarette. Good evening, YouTube. Full Circle Review back here again with another review. This time I have Quarter Cut Bourbon Barrel Aged Wine, Car Carbonet Sauvignon, California 2018, expertly crafted, our Carbonet is gently finished by resting in charred American whiskey barrels to create depth and flavor, producing a smooth and well-balanced wine. Uh, two, 750 milliliters, 14.5% uh, alcohol by volume. So this uh, stuff might actually get you lit. That would be a good thumb, th thumbnail. Hint, hint. Can I take... Can I take photographs while recording? I'm sorry, um... I still gotta learn how to do, uh... There we go. Let's see what that does. I think that takes a screenshot. Eh, I'm sorry, I may have to edit this out. I am recording. That's the main thing, as long, as long as you can see me. Anyway, this wine was purchased at Aldi's. It is Aldi's wine. But it looked good. It, I, I saw bourbon on it, and I thought, oh, I like bourbon. Quarter cut, bourbon barrel aged wine. Aged in bourbon barrels, this California Carbonet Sauvignon draws its rich flavor from charred barrels at once aged American whiskey. Tracing the legacy of distillers, this aging method masterfully, masterfully balances the essence of Carbonet Vertel with the unique character imbued by these prized barrels. The reward is a seamless wine and distinct notes of vanilla, black cherry, and dried herbs. I love all those. Pairs well with grilled or smoked red meats, pork, lambs, or burgers, all of which I do not have. Just empty, empty stomach drinking tonight. Best served at room temperature. That I can do. Uh, vented and bottled by Pacific Bay Vineyards, Hopland, Mendocino County, California. Oh, so it's not an Aldi's brand. I thought it was an Aldi's brand. Uh, but I believe this won some award. Um, if I can find information on that, I will try to put it in uh, the comments. But, uh... Let's get things going. I actually had a look for a, uh, what do they call this, corkscrew. Because I don't typically drink wine, or the wine that I get isn't, you know, corked. It's the cheap. Screw t screw cap gas station. Oh, yeah, it's open. Uh, wait, how do you resell wine? Or is it just... It smells very whiny. Oh, it's dark red. And I know this is not a wine glass. It's what I have. Making do. This is not a professional drinking channel. And I'm not a professional drinker. At least not yet.
It's actually a very faint light wine. Most of the wines that I've experienced, at least you know, cheap gas station wine, is a very repugnant, strong odor. This is actually like a. It's almost like a light grape. I get notes of like cranberry. I get a little bit of that woodsy barrel smell. Let's try it. Tart, but not bitter. I don't really drink wine, so the only, only thing I know how to compare this to is uh, grape juice. This makes me think of, um, there used to be a cranberry juice my mother bought, and like we'd water it down so it would go further. I'm not saying this is lacking on flavor, I'm just saying that it's not uh, super bitter. It's like very well balanced. You can tell that sitting and aging in those barrels has helped detract some of the negative qualities wine can have. Generally, I'm a white wine drinker if I drink wine, and I like it sparkling, but this is actually very pleasant. Most of the bitterness, the, the bite of the alcohol, and the um, just, just detracting qualities of wine have been removed with this aging, and I can taste it. It goes over the palate so smoothly. Typically, red wine's like really dry. This is not really dry. It's a pretty high alcohol content, too, at 14.5. Yeah. It's just, it's a light grape flavor. You get a little bit of vanilla there at the end. And you can taste you can taste that uh what type of wood did they say? It says bourbon barrels, I'm gonna assume oak. Uh but you get that woodsy dryness, that character of a uh, bourbon that's been aged in a barrel. It's really nice. It's actually a really pleasant wine. I don't know if I would say I would buy it again. But it's one of those that if you like red wine, I could definitely see this being an easy go-to. It's like all the negative qualities of bitterness, alcohol taste, acidity, it's all been mellowed by the aging process. You almost get like a natural sweetness from the grapes. I do wish the spice flavor they were mentioning. Maybe it's the black cherry. I think it's the black cherry that I'm tasting. You get a little bit of black cherry, but I do wish the spices were a little bit stronger. I really wish that they highlighted the grape a little bit more. No, actually the black. I wish they highlighted the black cherry a little bit more. Grape's good. But yeah, I think this is an outstanding wine. The acidity, the bite, the bitterness, all has been mellowed by the aging process. You get a little bit of that woodsy character. I'm going to have to give this an 89 out of 100. If you see this at Aldi's, it's definitely something to consider. Nonetheless, there has been a review of a wine. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Most importantly, y'all take care.